um, slammer is Alfred Kalida. Kalada. Did I say that right, Alfred? Both okay. Okay, good. Um, Alfred is in the Wellman Center for photo medicine. So he's going to tell us about some cool photo medicine, right, Alfred? Yeah. Okay, are you good ready? Thing. Yeah. Sorry, are you ready? Okay. All right, go on. I'll be talking about TCE, tethered capsule under microscopy. I'm mouthful literally because it's a capsule you swallow. But first, let me present the issues. Pretend I'm 45 and I've had some bad acid reflux for the past few years. My doctor prescribes me some medication, but with no relief. They refer me to a gastroenterologist who wants to snake me with a camera to see what's going on, also known as an endoscopy. So we just went from my heartburn acting up again to having a full day outpatient procedure in a single visit. But it doesn't have to be that way. The reason we go from primary care straight to endoscopy is because there is no great diagnostic middleman. Endoscopies are expensive. You need to take time off, probably the whole day. And you'll probably need anesthesia for the procedure. <laughs> or, all these things are huge barriers to people receiving care. Or, you can just swallow one of these. Now, during an endoscopy, we only get to see the luminal surface of the GI tract. So, here's an esophagus. And if we split it open, this is the only thing the endoscopy sees, just the surface. But when you swallow the capsule, it enables us to produce a transverse image below the surface with all its intricate layers. So it works by aiming a 310 nanometer wavelength laser down the tether here and into the capsule body. Within the capsule, there's a tiny motorized mirror spinning at about 40 hertz, shooting the laser out at a right angle, creating that transverse video of the tract. The 1310 wavelength gives us great tissue penetration, allowing us image about a millimeter and a half below the surface. Often, where certain precancerous tissue can stay undetected from endoscopic surveillance. Since the capsule is tethered, we can pull the capsule back after being swallowed, creating a full 3D rendering of the esophagus. So what the capsule generates is actually a real-time transverse video of the GI tract in micrometer resolution. This can fill the diagnostic gap between PCP and endoscopy. Something TCE has helped us study is Barrett's esophagus, when esophageal cells turn into stomach cells. Caused by chronic acid reflux, it has a strong correlation to precancerous cells forming in those subsurface layers. During an endoscopy, they take a biopsy to confirm, but that's like grabbing a glass of ocean water and stating, yeah, I don't think there's any fish in there. While the TCE is like dragging an entire net across the ocean, identifying any elusive disease hiding below. So to summarize, our tethered capsule under microscopy technique is a brief 10 minute procedure where you're asked to swallow a capsule. It requires fewer trained personnel than endoscopy can be done at the bedside and no sedation is needed. After which a provider can make a well-informed decision based off of the new info. Personally, I know what I prefer. What about you? Excellent job, Alfred. Great hey. job. Excellent. Alfred wins for props. Now, come on, <laughs> Alfred, behind. Come on, who's there with yeah, Alfred? Come on out. your helper? Yeah. We need I to just my, uh, this my, to my, my partner and uh, my coworker. Nice. Uh, yeah. Good job. Yay. Good job. Thank that you. was awesome. Yeah, so you see the beauty of props, people, everyone, right? So props work. That was, I loved how, you know, it came in and out. I love the money and the tossing, I thought, for my <laughs> you know so that was excellent zoom right? lends itself very well to having hidden secret helpers too it <laughs> wouldn't have been as effective maybe in person yes we did have once or twice at the at the in-person slam where there there were a, wasn't there a time when someone was like there was a couple helpers like hidden in the audience and someone was throwing things or something you know so never never um never think you can't bring your friends to help you with your slam so Great job, Alfred.